I'm uh, Josep, I'm, from, uh, I'm the founder of Haskell AI, and uh, today I'm here to tell you a bit about why you should elevate your software with an uh, embeddable AI agent, so that your users can automate their uh, task much more easily. So, uh, did you know that companies juggle around, oh, I have to click this as well, uh, companies juggle around on average uh, 112 SaaS tools, and this means that uh, there's a lot that they have to do, this is on Statista's uh, statistics, and actually, about half of those uh, licenses today go unused because people just order more than they need. So, but even juggling that software, it means that uh, the software that they're using was designed for uh, yesterday's needs. So, it means that the users are forced into using general workflows that are meant for everyone, but that don't meet their unique needs. This means that the user feels the pain as they have to manually automate those workflows. And this means that it becomes expensive for the companies to scale, they need to hire more software engineers or operations people. And when we talk to those users, the users told us they don't want more tools. They want to have the automation in the tools that they are already using and they actually like. So uh, that's why, oh, sorry. And we believe that AI changes everything, uh, especially for those companies, but it's not that easy to implement yet, as a lot of the old companies and software is built on top of uh, object, data objects and so on, but it needs to be more action-oriented for AI time. So we're introducing embeddable AI agents for your software that you can easily add so all of your users, irregardless of their technical expertise, can automate in everyday language. No code, no technical setup, no workflow, planners, whatnot, just use everyday language to automate. So how does it work? For the user, it's simple as one, two, three, and they can automate it. For the engineer, this means that they just have to connect the API, upload the API spec or the MCP server, and that's all. And then they, their users can start already automating their workflows. So what we are saying is that add AI-based automation to your software so that your users will stick around for a longer time. Uh, our pilot customer is a world-leading marketplace for essential work, job and talent, and they actually saw they saved 94% of time by using Askel AI for their shift scheduling operations. Think about what your users can do with the time saved for themselves. Our team has seen these problems across all the companies we've worked, from Skype to Twilio to Checkout to Tool to Estonian Energy Company to Northstar, Arbonix, wherever. There's always some manual processes. And this TechEU article mentions that we've already raised, but Monty covered that. And if you're ready to supercharge your software, book a demo with us. Thanks. Do you guys focus on any specific uh, do you guys focus on any verticals? Are you finding uh, that the product resonates more with a specific type of customer? No, we looked into a couple of verticals. We looked, uh, after getting uh, to work a bit with job and talent, we actually looked into staffing industry mm -hmm. and then we covered, uh, re discovered that, hey guys, we got that one company that is kind of the outlier in the staffing industry who actually wants to automate because like all of the US staffing industry companies said, well, we would just rather have our uh, back office people outsource to India or something like that, yeah, yeah. which was interesting. And so what's like the, specific, the most, uh, um, most popular workflow that you guys are automating? Which so is we're seeing uh, any workflow that uh, revolves around spreadsheets okay. is really good for us. So we've done some uh, cool stuff with spreadsheets uh, where we can manipulate the tabular data with LLMs and read out more information from there. Yeah. Cool. If so. If you can, uh, one more word on what's the typical client? What, what's the typical client profile? If, first question. Second question is, um, how do you price it? Okay. Uh, client profile for us is uh, today, uh, we've been looking mid-market companies okay. uh, who would need it. And uh, it's SMB to mid-market who want to add this to their products because we see that bigger enterprises, when we talked, for example, like Cisco, they said, well, we're going to build it in-house if we're going to do anything like that. So that's why we decided SMB to mid-market, and I think job and talent in that sense is at the end of that. Pricing, it's a base software fee today, plus outcome-based on top of that. 
the base software fee is kind of low, but it's just to drive the What's usage. The how, how do you measure outcome? Uh, the output based. So how many, let's say in job and talents case, how many uh, outputs are they getting from us? Okay. So they might give us like five inputs, but it all turns into one output, then they're priced on one output. Yeah. And what would you say is your unique innovation? So what is the secret sauce that nobody else can copy? So I think there's a couple of things. First is this tool registry, where you can upload the APIs and things, that it can actually find the right uh, path for those, and uh, what tools to use. And the other part is, as I mentioned, the spreadsheets part. Yeah, that has been strong. We've been a bit uh, finding which path is the stronger to take. So that's always a question which one you want to take. Yeah. I, I, I've seen a hell of a lot of software optimizing AI tools over the last month. Um, how do you make sure, I mean, what's your go-to market? Because there will be an abundance of approaches to your customers over the next 12 months with a lot of different AI tools. Okay. How yeah. do you go through that cloud? So today we're uh, doing a direct uh, reach out uh, through, well, uh, automation tools, of course, like Ample Mark and the likes. Thank God we didn't buy 11X's product. Sorry, yeah. if anyone invested. I, I think everyone saw the news today, right? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we've, uh, that's basically how we've been direct sales so far. Uh, we haven't pushed for any marketing yet. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks.